Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Pipes. And this decal set includes three decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at pipes, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, pipes is just a little plain. I know the original Generation 1 figure didn't have a lot of paint applications, but I expected a little bit more with this more modern version. Now, taking a closer look at Pipes, he does have a red Autobot logo right there above his head, just like the original Generation 1 toy. Blue eyes on a white face. He's got silver paint there for his Pipes. I believe that's paint. Yes, that is paint. And that's really all the paint applications on the figure. Lots of great molded details. But like I said, he is just really, really plain looking. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at pipes in robot mode before and after. And this is what I'm talking about. Pipes looks stunning now. Taking a closer look at the figure. Starting here at the top, he gets a brand new Autobot insignia right there above his head. New chrome decals there on the chest. And yes, each one of those are applied separately. There's also a new gray decal right there and yellow and red decals on either side. Underneath the arms, we get new decals right there that show some type of circuitry as he raises his arm up and down. There's also new blue highlights right there, there, and there, if you can see it. Moving on down, the waist area gets these new gray, yellow, and red decals. The knees get new chrome decals as well, along with some diamond plating right there that's mainly for vehicle mode. Here on the ankles, there's new decals right there inside the ankle tilt. New blue decals there on the feet. And of course, the main decals are the chrome ones that go around his pipes that make those look awesome. So shiny, so chrome. I love how that catches the light. There's also new silver decals on top of the fists. Now, a couple Easter eggs, at least I think they're Easter eggs, is right here. This red decal, I think that's an homage to the original G1 Pipes eye visor. I mean, that may just be me. And there's also hidden decals here inside his backpack. If you spin this around and flip it up, there is a missile pod. And I'm wondering if that's a homage to Transformers Cybertron Armor Hide, who turned into a truck just like Pipes here and had the hidden missile pod. So that is really cool. I love the looks of this guy. He looks so much better than what he did before. So there you go, guys. Pipes in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Pipes has a little bit more detail than what he had in robot mode. Taking a look here at the front, he's got a silver bumper, silver grill, white headlights. I love the fact they actually painted the windshield wipers. You don't see that often. It looks really good. Not a big fan of the translucent windows because you can look in and see all the robot junk there on the inside. He's got painted white lights here up top with black right there. The wheels, he's got black tires with silver rims. See, there's the silver pipes on the back. Love the texture here with that uh, steel plating look or diamond plating look. 
and the back we've got red brake lights and that's pretty much it so there you go guys there's pipes in vehicle mode before and after just like robot mode toy hacks adds a ton of new details to pipes vehicle mode taking a closer look at the truck here the first decals you're probably noticing is the new window decals that look really good i love how it blends the gray into the black that just looks awesome also the front of the vehicle gets new chrome decals right there in the grill new headlights new chrome decals right there along the bumper which really looks awesome along with a vanity license plate on the side of the vehicle you get the m that was very prominent on the generation one toy nice throwback right there also more chrome here to extend the bumper and a gray decal for the fender moving on here to the smokestack he does get decals right there that kind of show vents and there is gray decals right there on top along the side here there's also new gray details right there and that's on both sides moving on to the back of the vehicle we see the chromed pipes again but let's take these off so we can appreciate these decals new gray decal right there for the hitch blue decals with some red lights right there hazard striping you got extra details right there excuse me got tongue tied some diamond plating right there and brake lights with another pipes vanity plate there's also blue decals right there on the inside to kind of extend the blue look of truck mode so i love that that looks so much better than what it was before so there you go guys pipes in vehicle mode after toy hacks did a phenomenal job on kingdom pipes here Granted, they pretty much had a blank canvas to work with, but they absolutely killed it. I love the looks of this figure now. He is going to so pop on my display shelf. I did forget to point out these decals right there on top of his shoulders that kind of give him the illusion of having the smokestack arms. And that leads into one complaint, well not complaint, maybe a suggestion for Toy Hex in the future. I wish they made his entire arm chrome just like the g1 toy but granted this figure is an homage to the original generation one animated look so i guess i can give that a pass after all i did get the chrome pipes so yes if you have a kingdom pipes i highly recommend this set it vastly improves his look now guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when i upload new videos also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I gotta give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!